Hi guys, it's Laura and today we're going to be reviewing a very famous saga by Kara Kass. The Selection. First of all, this saga has five books. The Selection, The Elder, The One, The Hair and The Crown. I would divide this saga into two parts. First a trilogy and second a trilogy, let's say. First of all, I'm going to be reviewing the trilogy, which is composed, as I said before, by The Selection, The Elder and The One. First of all, we have The Selection. This was the first book I read and it was the book that made me want to read the whole saga. It was the book that brought me into this um, palace life. And it is an amazing book. I give it 5 out of 5 because it's really, really amazing book. And all this saga, I have to say, is settled on the future. Um, in this book, America Singers, which is our main character for this trilogy, has a boyfriend and has her life and her life is settled. She's a five because they have casts. Um, the casts go from one to eight. Eight are the very poor ones and one is only the royal family. And then two is good, three is worse, four, five, six, and she's a five, which is the artist's cast. So if you're five, you have to be either a singer or you can be a dancer, you can be um drum and actress or stuff like that. It's basically artists. So she is forced to be a singer, but she really likes it. She's a musician and she loves it. So she's fine with it. And she has her life settled. She doesn't want to go to the selection. Prince Maxon, which is going to be our prince for basically also this trilogy, um, has to get married. And because he wants to get married, he has to make a selection. In this election, girls from all around the country send their entries because they want to participate and only 30 get randomly chosen. You'll understand this randomly when you read the whole saga. So, America's Singers is forced by her parents to enter the next election, although she really doesn't want to. And she gets picked. So she has to go to Palace and her behavior is not the best, but, you know, it simply tells us the story of her starting to be in the palace, getting used to it, um, a bit of Prince Max in life and his dad and his mom and it's also basically a bit about the palace life in this book and simply it's an introduction to the selection. Also in this book we're gonna have some attacks to the palace by the rebels which don't want the monarchy and yeah we're gonna have all the information about that in here so of course this book is the first and you cannot read any other book without reading this one first. In the second place we have The Elite. I give this book a 4.5 out of 5. Um, I feel like it wasn't as amazing as the first one, maybe because I was already used to the topic. But uh, it was still really good and it still made me want to read the third one and so on. Uh, and this book, um, it's called The Elite because The Elite means that the selection has to get narrowed to 6 girls. And so, in this book, we're gonna have the narrow into six girls, we're gonna see which girls to stay, which ones go, and I cannot tell you much information about this book without giving spoilers, since everything in this book is just a continuation of the one before, so there's really not much I can say without giving spoilers, but we are gonna have more, more attacks, more real attacks. The only reason why I gave it this 0.5 points less than the other one is because I felt it was a bit repetitive since the, this book starts with six girls and it ends with six girls. In third and last place in this trilogy we have the one. In this book simply it ends the selection. This book is the ending, the very ending of the selection of Prince Maxim and it tells us who the winner is. But I give this book a 5 out of 5 and the ending was shocking, it was pretty good ending, I gotta say that. Not every single writer can make a, can have a good ending. For example, I love John Green's books, but I feel like his endings are the worst part of his books. But Kirkas clearly has very good endings. And, you know, it simply ends the selection, we're gonna see who wins, we're gonna see in what um, way this person wins, and we're gonna see simply gonna end in a marriage. I'm just telling you this, guys. I'm just telling you it's gonna end in a marriage. In this trilogy, we're gonna have a bit of a love triangle since we have America Singers, Prince Maxine, and Aspen, which is America Singers' boyfriend before she went to the selection, and will she choose to 
stay with Prince Maxin? Will she choose to? Will she actually love him in the future? Will he love her? Um, will she want to go back with Aspen? Will Aspen look for her? Will he just don't care? Will she forget about Aspen? Will she hate Prince Maxin? We don't know. We have to read this trilogy to find out. Now we go with the trilogy. In these two books, we're gonna have a different main character, and I can tell you her name is Edlyn, but I cannot tell you anything else about her, since it is just a continuation, as I said before, and it could be a bit of spoilers. At first, when I saw that these two books had come out, I thought it's a waste of time to read them because the book, the one, is a perfect ending for this story. But I have to say, these two books are another completely different story. Um, well, not completely different, but you know, with a different main character. And you, after I read them, I knew it was worth it to read them, and it wasn't at all a waste of time. But you have to read them to know this, so it's your choice whether you want to just read the first three books or you want to read all of them. But I could definitely recommend to read all of them because it's a great story. The hair. I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 as well because um, since it was the starting of the second bill of the second part of this saga, I felt like. It was also a bit repetitive, but it was still really good. Like some parts were a bit repetitive, but obviously it's amazing. And it is, I think, the thickest book out of the whole uh, load of books. But um, it was good. It was easy to read. It was fast, and it had an, a great story behind it. And yeah, as I said, our main character is gonna be Ellen, and she is gonna be directing a selection because her parents in this case force force her to get married and she has to do a selection although she doesn't really want to but she has and all these 35 suitors will go to palace to meet her and try to marry her but there will be some great twists in the story so that's very great and I cannot tell you much more about this since it will also be spoilers and last but not least we have the crown this was the last book of the selection and I think I give it a 5 out of 5, but I have a small problem with it. Let me tell you, I have this uh, thing that I always do every time I start one book, and it is to go to the last page and check how many pages the book has in order to know like whether I'm reaching the middle, where I'm more than the middle or less, I need to not to look at the number of, um, of pages. But the problem is that when I did this for this book, I saw the name of the winner of the selection. So it was a total fail because I, I knew it, I knew who she was going to marry for the whole book. Which, I mean, in, in the hair, I already thought she could marry him, but, you know, I wasn't sure. But since I started reading this book, I was already sure and I guess like, it wasn't so excited, exciting, but not because of the book itself, but because I read it before I read the name, so that was really bad. So if you guys are do the same thing as me to look at the pages, let me just tell you it has 276 pages, but don't try to look at the number, just don't. Here we will also end the saga with a wedding, and it is a pretty great wedding. And there is, I think this is the book with the most twists in the whole saga, because there is things that make me be like, what happened here? I could have never expected this to happen. But it did happen, so so overall I give this saga a 5 out of 5 because I gave most books a 5 out of 5 and the saga itself, the story itself, deserves, completely deserves a 5 out of 5. Basically because I can't give her a 10 out of 5 because I could, trust me I could. Um, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to see more of my videos. See you soon!